Hello, everyone. This is Spitting Fire coming to you with celebrity news, okay? We're going to be talking about John Singleton, all right? We're going to be talking about John Singleton. Now, RIP John Singleton, he's been gone for a couple years now, and we definitely miss this young man and the work that he's done. we known him for directing Boys in the Hood, which was his debut um film and he did such a phenomenal job and it got such a great reviews however he's gone and transitioned but before that it seems like he may as many others not had his affairs in order okay because we know and we read back then but right after he his demise that family has started fighting over his estate well it seems to me that they're still fighting over his estate um the daughters is suing or close to a million dollars on john singleton estate all right and not only that he has baby mamas and they're fighting over his estate they want close to four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. okay and it seems like and i'm not for sure how that goes once uh one of the parents is is deceased um, I guess if you're wealthy and you have money left over or whatever, they can sue the estate and try to get some of his royalties or whatnot. However, being a working class, it's like once you die, if your kids are underage, they get your social security and then that is it. But when you are wealthy, longevity, and you have royalties coming in constantly because of the work that you've done and that's still collecting monies, People want some of it, and who gets it? Well, this is why it's very important to look beyond the living when you become wealthy. A lot of uh, celebrities don't use usually um, look at their affairs beyond their demise. You know what I mean? They may do for their family while they're here or their friends while they're here, but what happens when you transition and all these royalties still coming in and who gets what and who's responsible for what? And it seems like... Our brother John Singleton didn't have that in order because had he did, then nobody would be able to sue. All right, it's that one. Someone told me that it's really important to get a living will in trust, as, other than just a will. Will can be probated, but a living will in trust is in stone. You know what I mean? Because you're doing that as you are alive. So this is just some food for thought for all of us, okay? Whether you are John Singleton or you're the plumber next door, it's just important to look after your loved ones beyond life, okay? Um, but we never know how that turns out, right? God has the last say so. But on the norm, just on the norm. So thank you all for listening to Spitting Fire. As this story um, updates, I would definitely bring you the update on it, all right? Thank you for listening. Take care. Fire out.